Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface with, I, I, I guess, the, the Batwoman channel? I don't know. Uh, but we have now had the confirmed, the final viewing figures for this week's Batwoman, and it's even worse than expected. Um, I did predict that the preliminary uh, ratings would go up from a 0.385 to probably around a point. 417 around about there however no uh not even not even close uh it didn't break the 400,000 mark so we now officially have our first rating below 400,000 viewers uh needless to say it's the lowest rated episode of the whole season series uh by <laughs> 27,000. You know, it's these are big margins of drop. These aren't small margins of drop when you're getting to the point of 300, 400,000 potential views. Mm. And once again, really does highlight this anomalous reading from a couple of weeks ago. Because since then, in the last two weeks, the show has lost 100 and whoa no yeah 100 well no <laughs> 160 odd thousand people that is uh, insanity absolute insanity with the uh, demo coming in at a 0 0.11 which is where it normally sits 0 0.10 or 0 0.11 so there we go official now the reason why i wanted to do uh, this video in particular was Somebody brought the... I don't normally watch the trailers for the next episode. I, I, I try and stay away from the show as much as possible until I have to do the next... Um, well, not review, but you know what I mean. Rant, I guess. And somebody really highlighted that I should watch uh, the promo. So, with that said, let's just take a little sneak peek at it, shall we? Now, the trailer is... Or the physical footage, at least, is less than... 20 seconds however we see ryan wilder in her bar cafe gay club it changes per episode and there is a member of the gcpd an actual member of the gcpd folks yes they exist it's not just crows and uh he places her hand on her for some reason she tells him to get her hand off and then the next thing we see is both Ryan and Luke Fox both being arrested by the police officers because they're black. Let's not make any bones about this. This is what the show is trying to do. It's trying to paint them as victims, written by a, a white woman, by the way, in showrun by a white woman who wants to sell the black experience. Uh, yes, it is that weird. So they get carted off to prison. Sophie <clears throat> also appears to be in the cell with them. And we have a voice of Ryan saying, so do you think it's my fault? Which I think she's meant to be saying to Sophie. But it's call it, it says, in a broken system, what does justice mean? I.e., these people have been uh, unjustified unjustifiably uh carted away and then we get a very sorrowful look <clears throat> black people in prison oh boy so let's jump to this article here <clears throat> from uh cbr dear oh dear batwoman prono confronts police treatment of black people in america no it doesn't no it doesn't at all it's it shows a very biased perspective on what you want the whole of America to represent in terms of victimhood. So it looks like next week's Batwoman episode is heading to such incredible levels of cringe and propaganda that is it any wonder why your show can't muster 400,000 viewers now?
The latest promo for the new episode of Batwoman confronts police treatment of black people in America with the Bat crew locked behind barsies. Oh my God, Zs. Oh, Z -wo -Zs. Now, of course, <clears throat> we don't even have to know context here because the show's bias. So we already know that the treatment of these characters is unjustified. But in the wide world, <clears throat> in the big wide world, context is exceptionally important. Exceptionally important. But of course, context gets pushed to the wayside for virtue signal and also propaganda. So shows like this don't in fact help anything. Shows like this, in actual fact, cause more problems and add to the division and add to the hatred. They don't do anything or won't do anything, I guarantee you, to build any bridges, to repair any relationships, to see where things can be or commonality, common ground could be found. No, no, no. This episode will paint them as victims and nothing more. And that will be that. And they are victims of a system. A system which is written from a very biased perspective. This is why we are sick and tired of shite like this. This is why I take a couple of hours out of my week to tear shows like this apart because they're written by disgusting people and they're show run by disgusting people. And I have to highlight how useless stuff like this is because this is meant to be our entertainment. This isn't entertainment anymore. This is lecturing and this is activism. Active activism. <laughs> I keep desperately not wanting to say Activision because of my gaming background. Activism, nothing more. And there is nothing more boring than a boring middle-aged white woman trying to tell people how to live their lives from the perspective of other people. There's also nothing more cringe and pathetic Particularly if you've seen this whole series, which from top to bottom, from the first minute in the first episode to the last second in the last episode, has been nothing but a fucking joke. A joke. There's a weird part of me which is actually quite looking forward to this episode because I want to see how many feet they stick in their mouths. I want to see how many times they shoot themselves in the said feet before they stick it in their mouths. I want to see the complete and utter bias of the episode. Because people who write this show, people that put it together, are so unintelligent that they couldn't even construct a story that might be open-minded that might actually leave it up to the viewer to decide who was right and who was wrong. Who could have done things better? Could they have done things better? No, just one sole perspective. That would be it. That will be all they want to show off. Propaganda, bias, and cringe. It's got a third season. It's got a third season, this show. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for the CW to keep flushing that money down the toilet. I can't wait for them to, to go into that budgeting meeting and just throw gasoline all over that cash and set it on fire. You are converting no one. As the viewing figures show, you are merely preaching to the people that you already have in your bubble and people who come for entertainment, for enjoyment, dipping, 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 and dipping. You get?
what you fucking deserve. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.